Hey, what is going on guys? Computer Surgeon here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can change the color of the folders on a Mac. So if you notice already, when you go and create a new folder, it kind of turns into this annoying uh, cyan color, and you can actually change that. Uh, there's a little bit of a workaround. It's not too hard at all. You don't need to be super computer savvy or anything to do this. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a new folder and name this colored folder. And you can do this with uh, existing folders that might have something in it already. It's not going to mess with anything that's inside of it. So just right click on the folder if it's a new one or something with something in it and go to get info. And above uh, where it says the cut or the folder name and where it was modified, go ahead and click on this little icon right here and go to edit, copy, or you can just hit command C if you're a bigger fan of shortcuts. So once we do this, we need to open preview and you can do this by hitting command space on your keyboard, opening up spotlight search, and you can just type in preview and hit enter once it finds itself. So you'll notice that nothing came up, but it says it's open down here and we have the preview bar up here. So we're gonna go to new and then new from clipboard or command N with the shortcuts. And once you do this, oh, it came up on my other screen here, you'll see that we have a few different folder icons on the left here. And this is uh, the first one that we're gonna be working with. You'll see if you kind of switch them, uh, it changes a little bit, but it's zoomed in for some reason. Um, so as you go down the list, it kind of just gets a little bit more blurry and these are smaller icons for different types of um, previews. So we're gonna click on the first one and we are going to go over to the tools and we are going to go to adjust color. And you'll see here, I'm gonna zoom out of this really quick, you'll see here that this little adjustment panel comes up and this is where we can change the color of our folder, which is what we're gonna do. So you can mess around with any of these uh, different uh, bars right here. The tint will obviously change the tint of the folder. I haven't gotten it to go anywhere close to red, orange, or yellow yet, um, but you can go ahead and try this as much as you want, tamper around. Um, with the little things up here, you can go to like a really bright blue, you can go to absolutely white, you can go to like a dark purple, light purple, whatever. Uh, I'm just going to set this one to like a more bluish color, um, and then we're just going to change it to maybe like a purple or something. Um, but once you do this, you can go ahead and exit out of this. So right now we have changed the color of the folder, but it hasn't applied this yet because we haven't set it that way. But even if we apply this color to the folder, every time you create a new folder, it's still going to be that cyan color. So this is going to be on a per folder basis. You're going to have to switch the color if you want it to be a different color, but they make this kind of easy. So before you close this, you can hit the X and it's going to ask you if you want to save it. And if you want to save this exact color for a different folder, I would highly advise that you save this. So I'm just going to save this as purple folder preset. And I'm going to hit save. And this is actually going to save as like a folder icon. Um, but don't uh, delete this because this is exactly what we need. So go ahead and open the purple folder preset and then it's going to open back up over here and you'll see that it's still purple so we want to go ahead and copy this folder icon so we can either go to edit copy or command c whichever you prefer and then we are going to go over to the um the colored folder info and you can get here by exiting uh, if you've exited the folder already you can go to get info uh, but if you still have this up you can go ahead and click on this icon here and hit command v or uh, paste um, in the edit menu and you'll see here that it actually changes to the purple color but now if we create a new folder you'll still see that it is blue so like I said if you have uh, copied something else or if you've done something else like let's say you go to a website copy the URL so you no longer have the purple folder icon in your clipboard that's why we saved it as this preset so you can open the purple folder preset and then it'll bring this up you can go ahead and edit copy the menu again you can go back to the cyan folder get info and then you can command V it and paste it and it will now be a purple folder so it's just a really easy way to kind of customize your desktop if you're looking to kind of edit it the way you want it Mac or Apple doesn't really like it when you customize things on their system but this is a way to kind of get around this you're not doing anything illegal or bad you're just simply uh, saving the folder icon as a new icon um, which is perfectly fine it's not gonna mess anything up with your system or anything but you can go ahead and just mess around with the colors as much as you want like I said if you create a new folder it's still gonna be that color so you're gonna go uh, back to get info once you copy the preset and then you can just go to the icon up here and hit command V it's really easy to do um, and like I said if you have a folder with something in it like I have a folder called YouTube uh, you can go to get info uh, edit or nope go to edit paste and it's fine anything that's in here is going to be perfectly fine 
but the color the folder colors in here are not going to change either so if you want those to be a different color you can go ahead and do that or if you're just a fan of the normal colors you can just go to the create folder and then select the tag and have it be purple but it's not going to change the color of the folder it's just going to change the uh, tag associated with the folder and you can search based on these colors if you want all folders with red maybe you have red folders with all homework in it you can search those but this is just kind of a quick customization tool that I found pretty cool I've been doing this for quite a while um, but like I said you can't really get anything um, in the uh, the warm color section such as red orange or yellow I haven't gotten that and I've messed around with the settings for quite some time uh, but maybe I'm just doing it wrong but there is a way to get it on the uh, the cooler end of the spectrum which is uh, green blue and purple so if you guys did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up if you found it interesting or cool or didn't know if you could do this go ahead and give it a thumbs up as well comment in the section below on some future videos you might want to see from me make sure you hit that subscribe button and even turn notifications on so you will be notified when I release my next awesome video which will be I believe this Friday I'm doing a PC build for one of my friends it's going to be a budget gaming PC so make sure you guys are subscribed for that and I will see you guys in the next video peace out and thanks so much for watching